And this is a really profound question. It requires honesty. And the profound question is, what circumstances have do I have to be, do I have to have in place so that I can devote myself wholeheartedly to this job? So, so uh, how can I exit the interview and accept this new job, feeling that I have a landscape of opportunity in front of me and bereft of resentment? And that will require, if someone's going to ask themselves that, that will re require that they prioritize their needs and wants. And salary may be one of those things, but, you know, you could imagine that there might be other ways of, of even moving around that, so to speak, because you might be able to offer your new employer the following deal. It's like, well, I'll take a starting salary that's less than I would regard as optimal or even necessary, but I want to know that if I hit a certain set of standards within a certain time, that there's a pathway to improved financial returns that opens up to me that we all agree on. And you tell the person you're negotiating with that the reason you want that is because, like, we're not playing around here. We're trying to negotiate optimal motivation. And I want to be able to assure you when I leave the motivation that I, or the negotiation that I am thrilled with the outcome. And because who the hell wants to hire someone who starts the job feeling like they've been taken advantage of and, and being resentful? Like, that's a really bad way to get good things going. Okay. So